everyone welcome back to my channel um i was uh watching a <coughs> show i think earlier this week or last week um called um, unlocked and basically it was a, a show where these inmates instead of being locked down 23 and 1 which is 23 hours locked down one in the yard. It was this lieutenant or the the, the warden or whatever uh, had idea of instead of the guards managing the inmates, the inmates would manage the inmates. Like they'll keep themselves responsible and um um uh, responsible and accountable. And basically, where, where the idea came from, a um, in Europe, uh, the inmates were not locked down like they is the United States, and they saw good, um, good results from it, good um, situations from it, good, wherever you want to call it. It, it was just a good experiment. So. The guy um, is in Arkansas, if I'm correct, and he said, okay, let me try it for one unit. And I watched this, I mean, a lot of cursing, um, but, you know, if you're in that prison system, it's pretty much MF and everything. Um, but anyway, I learned a lot about these men, they didn't really talk about their crime, but they talk about surviving right now. And some of these people are locked down for a minute. There was basically old heads uh, that were locked down. Um, and uh, there was newer cats, like they 21, 20. Uh, there's people in between, their followers, their leaders. But that was an interesting combination. I would say watch it. And I don't really watch a lot of prison stuff because um, stuff get me down, especially just to kind of working that stuff. Um, but it, 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 I learned a lot about people need hope. People need they need something to live for. You know, we all need something to live for. And this thing called respect. It's a huge thing. Now, for men, that respect word is like biblical. You know, it's like on my mama. I put this on my mama. You know, it's a respect thing. Ladies, it's not quite the same. They don't really get it. They're like, okay, you know, whatever. That's a man testosterone. And some of it is negative. You know, some of it is negative testosterone or testosterone toxic masculinity which a couple years ago I struggled with I until I did like a a year and a half about a year about a year and some change toxic masculinity seminar and counseling and realized a lot of mistakes I did and and my cry for being accepted was high behind, you know, being the biggest and the baddest in in the house I was in, and I learned that that's that's just wrong. You you, that's the wrong way to think. It's, it's it's one thing to be you know being physically disrespected, but a lot of times as men, we we get it don't take much to disrespect us. What you? Then look at look at me the right way. You disrespect me, and sometimes we we take on sensitive subjects and make it a situation where it wasn't a situation. So it was like, okay, what were you talking about? I, I wasn't even saying that. No, you talk about this. You disrespect me. You disrespect my claim. Like I'm just asking you if you want. Um, this and this, and we, we go above and beyond. Literally, the Will Smith slap. 
the Will Smith slap was just a cry for um, all my success, all my such and such, and and it was a cry for help. You know, I felt all this pain and I lashed out on this one person to feel respected because I was respected at my home and such and such. Um, it's an interesting combination as men. We, we, we take toxic masculinity and then you put a gun in our hands or you put a fighting skills in our ability and we just... We, we sometimes make people bow down in fear and we take that fear as a sign, as respect. No, they just they just fall in line because they don't want to hear your mouth or they don't want to hear your drama or they don't want to hear anything negative. And I remember some um, basically ex step kids up to their dad like I, I just I just do what he te tells me because I don't want I don't want to hear it I don't want to go through it and that's not real masculinity that's just toxic toxic masculinity and I'm all for masculinity when it counts but not when we when we try to force it or make something or make people that are traditionally inferior or physically inferior or children and make them fall in line. That's not that's not real leadership. That's just that's just putting people, you know, in, in, in a situation. And this is another secret. You think you're gonna be strong like this forever? You think you're gonna be this type of strength for the next twenty five years? If you my age and up, in 25 years, we'll be in our 70s or, 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 or late 60s. We are declining every year as we speak. Every year as we speak, we're declining. You think our kids gonna be declining? They gonna be getting bigger and stronger. And if you try to do that stuff on a grown kid, at 35 and you in your 80s, they not gonna sit there and be dominated. So keep that in mind too. So toxic masculinity, um, be careful with it. Um, you know, real power doesn't come from fear. Real power comes from respect and people knowing that you're about it. But you don't got scare people to be be about it they just know that you are they know like when people and i'm not saying this in braggadocious because i'm not that way personality wise i'm you know i'm just just andrew but i can tell when certain people know my background and they automatically bow, they they fear and they bow down because they know my presence. Not that I'm that tough, but they know what I do. And they know, like, yo, this man is not the one. Um, this man, and that's not me saying nothing. That's not me growing in my face, to, just the way I move and the way I carry myself. Um, they know that's not the one you want to try. Um, and, but there's been times I have to show people, you know, um, but that's many years ago, and I was, once again, had the wrong masculinity. I was operating the wrong lens, and that wasn't good. So, all right, guys, uh, thank you for watching my video. Have a good one.